Hello everybody. Another season, it's 2023, 2024 season. Back in the big pines here. Um, as you can see, we're in here to the tall woods right here. That's what I call them, big, big woods. Um, got to hunt up here this year because um, the timber company got claimed 5,000 acres where we used to hunt for the last past five years. So we can't hunt down there no more. So now we all got pushed up here. So back up here in another designated camp area. Uh, when for the rest of the guys come this evening um, but otherwise uh, did a little scouting yesterday on this one uh, trail I pinned and uh, found two, uh, two, two scrapes but uh, looks promising but uh, you can hear the timber company right now uh, uh, working down there so I'm about ready to load up again head down to the other side over here and uh, do a little scouting over there then uh come back and uh make my decision where i want to go most likely it's probably we're going to be close to the two scrapes right now but that's right on the edge of the uh timber company um but otherwise uh just going to give it another go this year um hopefully it's going to be a little bit better than last year last year was horrible last year i mean totally totally over even on my uh my lease it was like a nothing so but this year looks hopefully promising acorns uh already dropping right now so that's not a good sign uh looks like they got uh stinted again i think we had a real bad drought this year so uh, and then we just had uh, all this rain here this past couple of weeks so now it's kind of like uh they're going uh, they're going nuts right now but otherwise uh just going to um get ready to load up get my stuff settled and get my stuff situated and uh head down to the road again and uh Check out another uh, uh, scouting spot I pinned. See if that's any good. I hunted there uh, about, about about three or four years ago. I sat I sat there and uh, buck busted me. So I know they're all traveling the east to west over here. So, but uh, right now just about ready to get loaded. Already had breakfast and hit down there and see what I can find. Catch you guys down there. Right. <clears throat> okay, so last year I'm right on the edge of the property, private property, and that's where I hunted over here on a log over this creek bottom. And that's where a buck was over here and uh, busted me. But right now I'm traveling this uh, ATV trail right here, and this is all private in here. So. Right now, I'm just gonna see. I walked this before a couple of years ago, and there's an opening that goes into the private, so I just wanna see how far it goes. Ah. All right, so kinda like uh, try to stop and see where I'm at. So right there, I'm the blue dot, and I wanna go over here. I dropped my back bike off right here, right there on the creek. As you can see, I'm, even, I'm not even not even a quarter of way. So I should have drove my bike all the way down here and walked down in here. Would have been more feasible, but I didn't realize uh, the distance. So um, I'm going to head back to my bike, which is right there, just on the side of the creek. I got to drive all the way over here to this road right here. And I show you right there, camper's right there. May look close, but uh, it's a good uh, two to three miles. So, I'm going to head back to my bike and uh, probably head back to camp. I need to charge it right now because it's almost like at 43% and uh, shouldn't get it below that. So, catch you a little bit later. It's opening season it's about 7 45 right now been up here for about an hour so it's been pretty quiet got in here not too bad it's a uh, cool but very humid my shirt was soaking wet by the time i got up in the tree and got to settle and everything so 
Um, I'm in a, I'm, I think I'm in a good spot. I got a, a creek bottom behind me and in front of me. It's nothing but uh, oaks with acorns are already falling. Um, squirrels were at it a minute ago, but it, it's, it's, it's quiet right now. So it looks like they uh, just finished breakfast. So I'm just going to sit here and um, hopefully watch, see if something comes from behind me or in front of me. That was pretty cool. My boar. Oh, boar came in here. Dang. It was behind trees. I couldn't get a shot. So. Alright. Just missed that. After that boar hog just came through here real fast. Um, I was about ready to start breaking down everything and then I heard um, some come through the brush over here on my right side. Next thing you know I seen a coyote. I thought he might be coming down the, the creek bottom right behind me but he just kept on going and went back up the creek towards the road. So man that's not even a minute a minute behind that boar. Well I just need deer to show up not hogs or coyotes so but that was pretty cool though <laughs> this scrape right there it's about 35 yards now new location Went up, down all the way into the creek bottom here. Let's see if I can zoom around here. It's real big timber. And uh, um, right here, a couple of good hog wallows right there. So that's where I'm at. So right now, I have no camera. I just broke it. Show you real quick. Uh, this was the uh, this was the mount right here. It goes on the camera arm right there, and it just snapped off the bottom of the camera right there. Just snapped it off. So won't be no filming, unfortunately. So I'm going to see if I have my uh, GoPro attachments. I might hook it to the front of my uh, bow. Maybe we can get some footage there, but otherwise, so if one thing goes wrong, something goes wrong all the time. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this up. That's probably gonna be the only recording that I'm, I'm gonna show you down here. Uh, I'm probably gonna invest in a camcorder because uh, I've already glued this back together to the bottom of the uh, camera with the plate right here two times, and this epoxy is just worn off. So. Well, I'm going to cut this right here, but uh, said, uh, we scouted this here about an hour ago, right down in there, so there's that uh, scrape right there. And we walked all the way back there for about a uh, good mile, and it's just nothing but uh, a rows of scrapes and rubs transition, 
So it comes here and we leave the crossing right there. I'm hunting this spot. Kyle is, is down there in the pine in between all, all the scrapes. And I believe we haven't walked this yet, but might be continually. The, the bucks are gonna be continually walking around. <laughs> the bucks are gonna continually to walk the edge of this creek right here. Oh, tired, winded, it's hot, humid. So, all right, I'm gonna cut it, cut it right here. If anything comes up, I'll, I'll grab my I camera. I came here for an afternoon it. hunt, move uh, locations. I came uh, a little bit more deeper into the woods. Um, the spot I was at uh, this morning and last night, didn't really see nothing. Um, Kyle, who was over here close to down this way, he see the doe come out of this uh, thick bedding area over here. So I moved a little bit north of him on this uh, this uh, wash right here. I came up here and I don't know if you can see it, that tree right there. There was a spike sitting uh, laying underneath it. I didn't know it. I even I walked up to the edge and didn't even see him. The next thing you know, he jumped up and he just ran a little bit north, but he wasn't spooked. He didn't know what was going on. So just try. Guy finally got set up. Trying to cool down now. Well, it's a little bit thicker than I thought it would be. Visibility is not that great. So I thought it would be a, a little bit better. So I needed a, probably should go a little bit further north next time. Probably another 200 yards up and see what that looks like. There's another uh, three way where the kind of like the washouts uh, meet up and mer merge. So right now I'm just going to stay here for the evening and see what happens. All right, back off in my uh, hunting area here. It's uh, Saturday morning. I've been here since uh, Thursday afternoon. Um, it's been very quiet uh, this whole week. Last week I had more action. I think every day, every day I had something come through, but from a hog to does and everything. But uh, it was a full moon the last two nights. Um, it's still very warm. Got it. I think it's in the upper upper 70s 80s 80s yeah 87 90s so it's kind of really hot <clears throat> but uh down here in my spot here got some uh corn and some pumpkins put out here notice that the deer are hitting the pumpkin really hard which is surprisingly i didn't think they would hit the pumpkin but um the stories out of seen that the deer like pumpkin so i put it out uh, thursday evening and that night they were hammering it and uh, they ate all the innards first so then they come back the next two, two days and uh, just start eating close to the rind and everything but um, that's about it just waiting for something to come through here Totally forgot I had the camera on. But uh, looks like I pulled back a little bit, hit towards the back rib area. Um, arrow looks good from here. He just trotted off about 40 yards, but I haven't seen him anything yet. So I, don't know if he, I don't know if he's still walking. So, I'm going to give it an hour, then hopefully I can, uh, I'm going to start tracking it down.
smells like liver though. Yeah. Not, not seeing much blood right now. Well, finally, monkey is off my back. Finally got it done. Here she is. Got her drugged out of the brush right here. She only maybe went a good 30, 40 yards easily. Clapped right in the heart right there. Perfect shot. Let's see, the exit wound. Look at that. Nap, triple X, right through the heart. Took her out. Ah, oh, feels good, monkey off my back. It's been six years, six years. Can't believe it. It's taken me that long, I've worked that hard for it. So, finally, got one in the bag. And it's only a, what is it, November 1st, November 2nd? It's not even the first, first, uh, first two days of November. It was awesome, great. Catch you guys later. Let me get this back and start processing it. All right. It's the next day, November 3rd. Um, just uh, shot my dough yesterday. And I got it all packed up in ice and everything. So I'm just doing a morning hunt right now and uh, see if a buck comes by. And uh, then I'll probably take off home so I can get that dough to the processor as soon as possible. Four hundred die. It's November 15th, back here. Took about a week and a half off. Got my uh, deer processed and everything. Um, back here at the same spot where I shot the doe in my, uh, my, my land here. And uh, it's an evening hunt right now. Just got in here, got all settled up. So gonna be using my phone to record right now because uh, my other camera broke in, my main camera broke in. I already said that and got my GoPro so Got the batteries charged this time so they hopefully they won't die like they did last week the week before it was so cold so killed the battery so right now just uh it's about two ish right now real early time change already so it's going to be 5 30 by the time the uh, sun sets and everything so i'm going to get in here settle down and uh, uh check out the wind directions all right <laughs> 